things that we need before starting. We need a code editor like VS Code or Sublime. Download any one of them. After that download GitHub desktop version. Now, login in github.com. After login in GitHub, create a new repositories. Create a name for repositories. After creating repositories, main page look like this. Now open GitHub desktop. Now clone your repositories. Now click on Open File Explorer, and after paste your website pages here, Now all files is added to your folder. Now add a summary for new changes, then click on commit to master. After commit to master, click on publish branch. Now your files are successfully published in your new repositories. Now, open your GitHub and refresh your page. Now your files are successfully published in your new repositories. Now, make some changes on your repositories. By default your GitHub pages are disabled. For enabled pages set branch to master. Now, your pages are ready to publish on this link. Now, your website is ready to use. Remember, your website homepage must be an index.html. Now, how to make changes on your website. Open your text editor in GitHub Desktop. Now select your HTML page and make some changes. After makes changes, save the file. Now, you can see changes here. You can also add a summary here for new changes. Now, click on commit to master, then click push to origin. Now, your website is updating. Now, your website is successfully updated. You can also see changes on your pages. Now you can use your updated website. But first, you need to clear cookies and cache. Now, all the changes are successfully done. Now, how to add a custom domain. But before we need a free domain, 
open freenom.com. After the login in this website, now click on register a new domain. Now search for website availability. Now select any free domain. After selecting domain click on checkout. Now, new domain is successfully added to our account. Now, make some changes in your new domain. Now, add a seed name for website. Now, copy only your account ID. Now, add more branches. After add more branches, click on Save Changes. Now add your new custom domain here, and after that click on save. Now you have successfully set up a new domain. Now click on refresh. Now your website is successfully published in your new custom domain. But HTTPS is not enabled in your website. Now, how to enable HTTPS? Click on Enforce HTTPS. Now HTTPS is successfully enabled on your website. Now your website is secure. If you are facing any problem please comment, and also comment for any suggestions.